Hi gorgeous souls and welcome to Soul Light Conversation number 63. If you're new to these, uh, I give you a short introduction. My name is Annika. I'm a soul light healer, artist, a witch, a truth teller. Um, I have been called spiritual midwife and many other terms by my beloved circle of women who has gathered over the last couple of years. This is my daughter, Ari, who didn't sleep long enough so I could do the live without her. But I just decided to do it with her. She's one of three, the youngest of three children that I have. And um, yeah, I'm single parenting under the week, like for five days a week. So yeah, say hi, Ari. Um, today's solar conversation, I just, like, I finished one hour of meditation. Well, it wasn't an hour. This little miss woke up at minute 52 or something. <laughs> so it was just before an hour. Um, I have been doing the hour-long meditation. This is day four now. So I have been meditating since 2013 on a daily basis. Um, every single day I meditate. Um, but for the last 2013, so it's six years now, uh, for the last six years, I have never done longer than 40 minutes. And so to step it up um, and inspired by Kelsey, who is a huge inspiration to me. Um, hi, Julie. <laughs> hey there. This is a huge inspiration to me. I stepped it up and I started one hour meditations. So this is day four. What's going on with your mouth, missus? <laughs> this is day four of one hour meditations and I aimed to go live afterwards because I find that my channel is the clearest just after that meditation. You can see it even in my eyes. Um, Henare calls them spirit eyes. It's like when you're completely connected and centered and like you know you're a soul in a body and not the other way around. <laughs> I know. A soul with a body. So today, today I wanted to talk about our, what came through was that on the weekend I asked myself a question I asked myself regularly. Um, and that is a question that my good friend Celeste shared with me. It's, if I, like, complete the sentence, it's not even a question, complete the sentence. If I had the courage to, I would. <gasps> Are you grabbing my earrings because you need attention? That's okay. I go up a bit. So the question, or the, the sentence, hey, Morel, hey there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She got one of my earrings. She just didn't, didn't not just grab it. She got one. <laughs> so on the weekend, I asked myself that question. I have asked myself that question before I put down the dates for my um, retreats that I have done in the past. I have asked myself that question um, before we made the decision to have Ori. Um, so that question comes up and... Big changes are happening. I know. You're talking with me? Or are you talking with the people? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. whenever I feel I'm in a massive transition and something new wants to come through, I ask myself, or like I, I journal out and I, I think about if I had the courage to, I would. Mm -hmm. And what came up for me this time around, good morning, Joanna, hi. What for me came up this time um, was if I had the courage to, I would open up about the dark side of the light maiden. I would open up about the shadow that comes with the light because there is like with the light comes the shadow. Um, I would open up about my depression, my suicidal thoughts, my dark thoughts that are still coming. They're still with me. Don't think like you. some morning you wake up and they will be magically gone. No, I have to deal with them every single day. I have to live with them every single day. And it's a good life. It is really a, a beautiful life. <laughs> Filled with such um, such gorgeous experiences, but they're not all gorgeous. 
I have moments where where it gets really challenging. Um, and then I have my... She's so cute. <laughs> and then I have my tools to go to. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do to remind myself that I have a choice. And so that's what my soul is calling forward. Um, it began with the idea for a life for my new program, which is starting on the spring equinox, um, uh, which is uh, bringing real conversations to the table. It's like when you're living as a 5D being and like you're aware that you're 5D and not just 3D um, and then you're living in this world I find that I miss conversations real conversations conversations about the icky and and the the weird bits of being human as well as the conversations of like fuck yeah this life is awesome and so I want to bring these conversations to the table. And one of these conversations, one of these alive conversations, is the conversation around suicide, suicidal thoughts. I have no doubt that either you have experienced yourself suicidal thoughts at some point in your life or will. And I, or it's a loved one and you feel overwhelmed and helpless and you don't know what to do. And so this information is so important that my own shame around it and my, um, I don't want to show it because it's not light and it's, um, it's a heavy topic, right? It's like, it's labeled as heavy. If you take away the label, it's just a topic that um, we can talk about and we can experience in conversation. Um, and so my shame around it is, is not like it takes me away from what I really want to do and what my soul wants to express and so it's time it's time on the weekend I will put down a plan at like later today when when I have time when there are no children around and I can actually think and be with myself I will put down a plan and on the weekend I will do um, a webinar or some kind of live stream where no a webinar on zoom so we can have a real conversation so i will share my experience i will share the tools and whatever help, helps me on a daily basis tested tried and tested for the last 11 years now <laughs> since i tried to kill myself that is in 2007 so 12 years actually and then ooh, 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 or he's taking away my base <laughs> And then on the weekend, I will do this webinar on Zoom. And after I shared my experience, we will talk about it. We, I will answer questions. Whatever you want to know, I will be there. And I will answer as honestly and as openly as I can. Oh, this is happening. And um, it will be the first of our live conversation. So you get a taste of what I'm planning to bring into this world when spring comes around. Why spring? Well, this little one here, this little one here will be in kindergarten. From February on, I will give all of us a month to get used to it. And then it's time to me for me to get back into work, into what my soul is asking me to do in addition to my sacred work as a mother. Oh, is there more I want to share? Yes. There is. I know. <laughs> Look at her. This wasn't a, a, an easy decision. I love spending time with this little one. I know. But. No, and. Not but. Conscious language here. And. I love my... I love the work that I do <laughs> and it's part of this is not yours my lovely I can't give you that it's part of look here is your dolphin I love 
what I do and it keeps me sane and it keeps me feeling alive and when I cut it out like I did for the last couple of look there is you oh and your dolphin dolphin say hi hello <laughs> It keeps me alive and if I don't have these conversations, these real conversations, which are not um, um, like small talk or surface talk, like things that are um, discussed under all the masks you put on to be socially acceptable, um, if I don't have them, my sanity goes. I have received a beautiful... Um, confirmation from a really good friend of mine who shared with me that her brother killed herself uh, himself in the last year and that my post helped her to understand a little bit at least what was going on and I hope this webinar on the weekend will do more more information is coming if you want to come if you want to attend if you want to be there live for the first live conversation that um, is gonna happen on the weekend keep your uh, your eyes open as soon as I have the info I will post it here in the comments it will be a day or two just to prepare you but it's happening this Saturday this Saturday okay <laughs> I'm putting down a date right now and um, it's happening this Saturday what is Saturday the 12th I think so let me check on my calendar which is over here by the way um, <laughs> this Saturday on the 12th we will have an, a live conversation about suicidal thoughts how my experience shaped me and what I like used to deal with them used to deal with them every single day and and there will be a Q&A so we can have a conversation not just me sharing my experience but then have a conversation around it and I will answer questions there and this is my aim for a life um, it's 66 days starting in spring um, where I will show up every single day for 30 minutes for a conversation a, a live conversation around whatever topic the community the women who are gathering bring up so I'm really excited for this this is totally so let and um, exciting <laughs> and the most exciting part is that everyone can access this because it will be one euro per day which makes it 66 euro so even if you don't have those 66 euro at the moment if you put one euro per day into a jar then bring it to the bank and um, then send it to me you still have enough money before this even starts okay this little one, what do you need? This little one needs some entertainment, I think. A fresh nappy would be good too, probably, because she just woke up. And then, I think it's snack time. <laughs> so, oh, sweetie pie. Yeah. So, all that's left is to remind you that you are love. Can you hear me? You are love. You're loved too, and I am loved, and you're loved, you're guided, you're supported, and the universe has your back, and everything that is happening right now is happening for you. Hi, Dory. Okay. Take care, my loves, and I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully after my meditation straight away. Um, yeah, no, I'm committing right now, right after my meditation. We'll see you right here on my Facebook page and um, I'm sending you love and light and I may your day be blessed with joyful moments and excitement. <laughs> may you feel alive today. Happy, happy new day as my son says. Listen, since we said happy new year, he says happy new day every morning. Isn't that great? <laughs> Take care, my loves. Mm -hmm.